Hello everybody, Rick's here. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing around with this product here, the HTV Rant Chameleon Heat Transfer Vinyl. Twelve inches by ten feet. I am going to look for a design, print it out, and then I'm going to use this product here to make a new t-shirt. Hmm, sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Time to go into the old t-shirt room here. Now I might have a t-shirt somewhere. Huh, where can I find me a t-shirt? Hmm. All right, well, if I was going to do the purplish one, I probably want a dark t-shirt so let's see or I go for a gray oh I like the way that grays feel you know I'm gonna go with the gray one what size is that gray let me see here Ugh. if you can't tell I love t-shirts well that's an extra large too you know what I'm gonna go with this uh, gray one here bye bye t-shirts the question I have here is do I want a subtle image because this is dark and this is dark so it's gonna like barely show up like it'll show up a little bit and the lights gonna reflect on it and so or do I want to be loud and wild yeah, loud and too loud okay well I know a lot of you are probably going oh let's go loud and wild but you know I'm kind of a conservative guy here I don't know uh, 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 I will go with loud and wild with the with the uh, gray t-shirt okay this product does come with some instructions on the back here so let's take a look at what it says right up there number one it tells us that we need to mirror the image so in my software which I'm going to be using my uh, silhouette cameo machine so I got a silhouette studio software when I make the image we're going to mirror it then it says okay then I need to cut the design out and again I'm going to use my cameo and then weed it that sounds pretty easy pre-press the garment to eliminate wrinkles place the design on a desired area of the garment we're going to heat press this puppy which I'm going to use my heat press right over there. That old cheap thing about ready to go out to the garbage. That thing is in bad shape. And let's see. We're going to remove the transfer carrier. And voila. We're going to have our t-shirt. Okay. I'm in my Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software here. And uh, it just kind of came up with this default page. In the design area setup area let's see my machine cameo cutting mat 12 by 12 which will work just fine since the roll that we're using is 12 inches wide so that will be good and this is media size okay now that I've got to change let's see we can go auto we can go custom I'm gonna go custom I really don't know what the height will be just yet. We'll figure that out when I import the image that I found online. But I could tell you already that the width is 12 inches. So let's get that in there. And so there you can see it did 12 inches. I'm thinking we're going to go 6 inches on the height. I don't want to use too much of my material unnecessarily. So let's see. Uh, what do we got? Height is 6 inches and the width is 12 inches all right so that looks really good right there uh let's see i want to zoom out a little bit because my little box is in the way here so if you hold the alt key down and then turn your mouse button the little wheel not the mouse button but the little wheel on your mouse you can zoom in and out so there we go and if you let it go and just use the mouse wheel it's up and down and if I hold the control key down and use the mouse wheel it's side to side beauty eh? alright so we've got 12 inches wide about 6 inches down 
Let's see if my image will fit. So I'm going to go over to the open here. And I found this Batman image here. And since I'm not going to be selling these t-shirts, I could use these images just fine. All right, well, that's pretty small. So let's see if I click it. There we go. We get the box around there. And I'm going to click this corner thing right here and size this. Um, I believe, let's see, if I do it, yeah, if I click that and move it, then it stays in scale, so I can just fill the screen in there a little bit, there we go, and then I can just center it or whatever. Now, I want to use more of the 12 inch than I do of the 6 inch, so I'm actually going to distort this a little bit because it's just what I want to do. So I'm going to click on the side here and I'm going to warp it out to there and I'm going to warp it out to there. There we go. So that it's about, oh, I'll say 10 inches. That's about 10 inches there and I don't know, that's four or five inches going that way, I believe. Let me, let me get that centered right there. And this is called a vector image, by the way. Uh, vector black and white do a search on vector images black and white and then you know in Google click images you, you'll find all kinds of stuff that you can use I like these very simple vector images because they're easy to peel uh, simple is often better if you get it too detailed you're gonna be weeding for a long time all right now you go over to this icon here uh, it says open the trace panel it it looks like I don't know, like a slice of bread or uh, I don't know, some weird butterfly. I don't know what that image is. Uh, they need a better one, but let's let's click that and select trace area. Um, I guess we're ready to do that. It says here when I hover over it, it says uh, select an area to trace. So let's just do that then, and I'm going to press my left mouse key down and drag until it covers it and let it go boom okay and it's a solid fill trace which is which is good for this because there's no inner details here but I'm going to tell it to trace the outer edge and as you can see that uh, if I was to move this now you can see that there it is. That's what it's going to cut on the vinyl. All right. This outline right here, let me just move that there. This outline is what we're going to cut. What I want to do here now is I need to put my vinyl on this mat here. It's a 12 by 12. I, I have a larger one too, but we're only going to do a 12 by 6. So grab the vinyl here. The HTV Ront roll. Remove the old tape. You want to you want to have this side up here. This what's inside the roll. This outside clear protection. You do not want this up like this. This is the part that's going to show after you weed it and press it. So remember, you're going to have to have it this way on your mat all right and we need six inches so let me put this sideways here and I'm going to align this here twelve inches all right and I only want six inches so going to okay it looks like about right there I'm not going to be really exact that's what's nice about these rolls okay just cut what you want I need a minimum of six inches let me get this off of here all right and press it on really good all right so I'm at the 
Silhouette Cameo machine, as you can see here. Love this machine. This thing is really awesome. All right, if you don't have one of these things, you ought to get one. That's all I can tell you. You ought to get one. Anyway, so I'm going to align my uh, vinyl thing here with that line right there. Just kind of push that in, get it aligned the best I can. And then I'm going to tell it to load. Beauty. All right, now back at the software, the next thing I need to do is I need to get this over to the send location here. Okay, so now we're ready to send this. It says vinyl printable. No, this is not a printable vinyl. So try to find the correct stuck here. What are these exclamation marks? This material is not compatible with Legacy settings. Okay, that's. Let's see. Wait a minute. This is this is not it. We need the vinyl. Here we go. This is it right here. So we need vinyl, Carl, frosted, glossy, glitter, glow, matte, metallic, or reflective. Um, I'm going to go with reflective. I don't, you know, I'm not sure. It just changes these settings, but you can override it any way you want. Okay, we want to cut. I got an auto blade. All right, we want to cut the edge. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. And I got it set at one right now. And that might be enough. Um, we'll run a test to make sure. There's a little test right here. And uh, it will just cut a little dinky thing up in the upper left corner. We'll peel it and uh, find out if this setting will work. We only want it to cut through the vinyl. We don't want it to cut all the way through the um, backing. Okay, now the next thing I want to do now that I've loaded up my vinyl into the machine is I'm going to I'm going to test this. So I'm going to hit test. And it's going to cut a little test pattern somewhere up there. There it goes. And let's see, we're going to wait for it. Okay, job complete on load. All right, and let's see. Okay, you may not be able to see this, but I'm going to try to put it in here. Yeah, I can't see with my glasses, but it made this little pattern here. So let me go ahead and weed it. Got a little compartment here where I keep my little weeding pick. All right, and uh, I'll try to get this in the camera here, but what you want to do is you want to take your, your pick and see if you can weed it. See that? I just weeded it. It came right off, but it didn't, they didn't cut all the way through the protective coating that is on the other side of this vinyl. So the setting that I have on my software is perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and load it up the same way I did before and now do the uh, transfer uh, cut. The cut, not the transfer, but the cut. Okay. So same thing. Align it to the line over there. Hit load. And I'm going to press this down again. My mat's losing a little of its stickiness. And the roll has a curl in it too. So. You know, you may try to get the curl out before you put it on here. That's up to you. It will still cut with no problem. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and send this. All right, so I hit send. Here we go.
Okay, it's done cutting, it says job complete, hit unload. And there it is, now I'm gonna to go to the table, I'm gonna use this tool, and I'm going to weed this, and it should be really, really quick. Okay, so, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna weed this now. Actually, I don't even need this on the mat anymore, so I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this off the mat, and I'm gonna put my protective paper back on it so that I can save some of that stickiness for later. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna weed this, okay? And weed it from this side here. And so what I wanna do is I wanna leave my Batman image on there, so I'm gonna weed around it. And basically that means I could just go ahead and pinch this anywhere in this case, because it's the surrounding stuff I don't want. And I'm going to start pulling it like so and separate the vinyl from the backing material. And it should, you just want to leave behind your image that was cut. And there you go, it's, it's doing it. So there really isn't much weeding for this image. This is a simple one. Okay. Just be careful, you don't want to rip your original. There, look. See? It left behind the part it cut. I'm going to get this test part off of here. I don't want this to end up on my t-shirt. There we go. Alright, you can throw the rest away. Now this here is sticky, so we can place it on my shirt where I want it to be. So let me go get my shirt. Okay, this machine is already at 293, which is the minimum temperature that was listed on the instructions. It's still going up towards 300, but I'm gonna get this started now because I'm worried about this thing popping a breaker and shutting all the power off in this room as it's been doing in recent times. There's something wrong with it. I don't know what's wrong with it, but neither here nor there. Let's get started with this. So sticky side down, you want your image, center it wherever it is you want it, and kind of go four inches down from the collar. That's the best usual place. And I'm going to eyeball this, but you may want to do it a little more scientific. My wife says that I'm a little cross-eyed or something, and that I've been kind of not aligning it. And just kind of smooth it down because it's sticky, it stays right there. And then you want to press for about 15 seconds. I got this set for 15 seconds. Looks like the temperature is already at 300. So I got there anyway. Even if it shirts the circuit breaker off, there's enough latent heat here to finish this job. Okay, 15 seconds. All right, done deal. Done. I'm shutting this thing off. I don't want to pop my circuit breaker. I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to let it cool down because this is a cold peel. Okay, that didn't take any time to cool down. It's already cooled down. That was fast. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and peel this. Just be careful as you peel. And you want that vinyl to be left behind on your shirt. If you see any part lifting, then you might want to take it back to heat press and give it another press, but it looks like it's holding. 
onto the shirt. So, I'm liking this. All right. There you go, so discard that. But there it is. My new Batman t-shirt. So what do you guys think, huh? Pretty cool, huh? So anyway, uh, what do I think about this product? I think the product's great. Uh, the pros are that it's easy to use, uh, feels great, it's very soft, and since the shirt is soft, it works out really good. Tip, when you're ready to wash this, wait at least 24 hours before you wash it the first time. Turn the shirt inside out before you throw it in the wash, and other than that, it's good to go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and click that notification bell so that you will be informed of my upcoming videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.